go ahead and open the um, meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, and uh, my name is David Bloomberg. And uh, we are here uh, to hear the matter of a special permit for a ground sign at 40 Center Street, Northampton, map ID 31B-287. And notice that this hearing was published on June 29th and June 6th, July 6th. And um, we will first hear from the applicant and then, um, and then the board will have a chance to ask any questions. And after that, anyone else who's here who has questions or comments will have an opportunity to, uh, to speak. And I ask that anyone who does speak, first introduce yourself with a name and address so that we can keep a record of who spoke at the hearing. Um, so, so we're ready for the applicant, please. My name is Ilse Godfrey. I'm a Godfrey sign in North Hatfield. And uh, I authored the application for the building owner. Um, the, we're the sign company that was contracted to build and also install a, a sign for 40 Center Street which is a historic building uh, converted, residential converted into commercial on Center Street. So it's in the central business di district, architecture district. So we've designed the sign, we fabricated it, and now we're here asking permission to install it on a strip of property that goes from the front of the building to the rear of the building that will direct people to the entrance of the building, which is at the rear of the building. It's an interesting configuration. The face of the building is on Center Street. The entrance to the practices that are inside the building are at the rear of the building. So this sign is designed to direct people to the entrance to the building and also tells you who's in the building. So it confirms to the foot traffic, the pedestrian traffic, that they're in the right place and where they're going to. Okay. So, have we seen an image of the proposed sign? Um, you know, the application came with so long ago. Yeah, yeah. because you, you have, have a delay. Oh, so, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Low set purpose. Great. Perfect. And um, just out of curiosity, um, what is the what is the front door of the building used for? to go upstairs or to? The front building, the front door leads right into a practice area for groups. This is just your, just your name and, yeah. uh, I'm Ruth Folkman okay. and I'm the, I'm the, the building. Okay. Uh, and the front entrance goes into this group uh, slash community room. Okay. That's sort of, that's separate from the clinical practice mm -hmm. offices. Is this what the sign looks like still? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. A of sure, please. Go ahead. Um, the um, choice of a ground sign um, makes sense, which is why we're considering it. it. Because there's no opportunity on the side wall for you to put what would be more you know, typical signage. Um, it also tends to be the type of sign that's used more commonly for directing people who are parking and a ground sign. And because it's, you're choosing to place it on the strip of land that's between that sidewalk and an adjacent parking lot, um, have you considered that there might be any confusion about who it's meant for? Like, might you have considered placing it on a piece of land that's closer to the building? The piece of land that's closer to the building is, is planted and it really abuts the building foundation. Then going from the face of the building to the back of the building where the entrance is, mm -hmm. there is a walkway, a pedestrian walkway. Right. Then there's a strip, uh, that's it, which is where we're proposing to do the sign, right. to, um, I don't want to say plant the sign, install signs. Then a downgrade, and then there's a large parking lot where TD Bank is, 
with a very big sign and an entrance that I think pretty much delineates the property from Ruth's building. That that was yeah. Kind okay. of I was curious idea. because there's no natural sort of barrier between the parking lot and that strip of land. And in fact, the landscaping encourages, which is nice, encourages pedestrian use from that parking lot to your sidewalk in a couple of places with you know, um, flagstone, I guess. With flagstone. So yeah. I, I guess it's just a awareness that it could be less clear that what it's associated with is the building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think for that reason, we. We stepped it far enough back so that it really is associated with the building. It's not on the sidewalk, not to any of the roadway traffic that's going to, traditionally going to be going into the TV and parking area. So, and it also is designed to match some of the other building signage. So, in a way, there's kind of a branding effort to mm -hmm. have the sign associated with all the other signage that appears in and outside the building. Um, thanks. There's also, it looks like the photograph we have is at an earlier stage of landscaping, mm -hmm. and what you have now is much further developed. It looks, can you explain where the sign's going to go in relation to, there's a willow tree, and then there's what looks like an ornamental cherry tree or something, and that tree looks like it's exactly where you would be placing the sign. I don't know. It's actually, I believe, between the two, we have more yeah. current photographs. A uh, few copies, sure. if we can distribute them. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah that would be helpful. Sure. This is a before and after oh. picture as well, just to show what it looks like before. So it's going to be between these two trees, did yes. you say? Isn't the front tree going to block the view of the sign from? Well, I think the hope is uh, to trim the tree up so that it'll be uh, it'll be visible to pedestrian. It'll be at pedestrian eye level. Um, Bob built the sign according to uh, loosely within the guidelines for ADA, so that the sign message is pretty much eye level to pedestrian and foot traffic. Right. So we so make an effort to trim the lower branches. The tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And there's no light. Ex there's no l artificial lighting of the sign. No. And is it is the uh, verbiage only going to be on one side of the sign? Or okay. Yes. You mentioned the sign system, um, and I'm seeing now that you're introducing other signs. There's a couple of L brackets for hanging signs on the front porch. Do you envision multiple signs? Just one is there that uh, is the name of the practice, Everyday Mindfulness. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that we think visually should be on the face of the building. And you think you'll keep that when you put, that we won't move that business over? I think so, yeah. And there's another L bracket on the, the other pillar, so it looked like maybe you were intending to introduce more signage. That over time or something? I, I thought I might hang a plant from that. <laughs> it's a, it's a, you know, I always imagine some pink petunias in a basket there. It's a it's an artifact from the previous practice and it just stayed. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions from the board? Anyone from uh, anyone else present would like to comment or, or ask a question? I guess I would. Should I? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Either way is fine. Right? Okay. Do we um, need the mic for the camera? Or? Oh, I, you know, no, because okay. they were just using okay. it. Okay. You know, I got the, a neighbor brought this letter over today, and I wasn't sure what to do with it, but um, you know, to sure. him, Thank you. this just is an unsolicited support <laughs> of the sign. I just thought that was so sweet. But they're a little further down on yeah. Center Street. So this is just from uh, Jack LaFort, yeah. PhD. It says, date of July 13th, special permit for Ruth Wolfman. Uh, as a long-term property owner on Center Street, we support Ruth Wolfman's request for a special permit to erect a sign at her property at 40 Center Street. We find the sign's design to be very tasteful 
as is her improvement to her property and would further add to the aesthetic of the neighborhood. Respectfully submitted. Thank you. Yeah. Um, any, no, no so, comment from either any other members of the public or any city departments or agencies? No. Okay. No. So could I just say in terms of the sign, so I work with a landscape architect yeah. uh, because it was kind of unusual to have these two separate functions in the building and so there was a clear intention to have the front entrance be for this community room and then there was this you know, beautiful existing staircase in the back of the building and so um, because though it's kind of unusual to be directing most of the daily foot traffic to the rear of the building, she's the one that sort of designed this little parklet to make this beautiful space and to have benches uh, and to place the sign there by this wider sidewalk that all sort of works together to invite people to enter down that pathway. So. Um, you know, my hope is that the sign gets approved because it makes it easy for people to know where they're going. Right. It is a little confusing right. to have a primary entrance on the front that's not where most people are going. And, you know, people arrive sort of at the same time to go in that front door. There's a class or a group or a community event. But they're coming individually to the back of the entrance, so there's nobody there to be like, where are we going? What's what's going on here? So it feels important in terms of the you know the seven offices that have you know daily foot traffic. That's something that guides people. Mm -hmm. I'd like to mention too that for accessibility, that is where the handicapped access ramp is. Is at the rear entrance of the building. It's a new cement poured with handrails ramp going up to that back entrance. And no one from the front of the building would really know unless there was some sort of pointing, pointing them to access the entrance to the building. So from from a sign maker's standpoint, that, that seems to be pretty important to us is accessibility. Sure. Um, Thank you. Sure. Uh, and, and, and the other, uh, I'm sorry. Other. I do have sure. one other sure. question. Um, you said the sign's already fabricated? It's completed and does it is it um, is this accurate yes and if, um, if there's another this? just the sketch drawing is actually I just ha I had one question about it in terms of just mm -hmm. serving the public um, mm -hmm. the, and it's so critical that you're navigating people to the back which is the main entrance but the um, bottom line that says handicap, it looks that that reads handicap entrance at rear of building. And it, it's not as hammer over your head, this is yeah. the public main entrance. It's a little understated there. Uh, I, I hope we're already talking about making a change to that. First of all, um, it's the handicap entrance and the main entrance. Yeah. Building. So that is still kind of, we're going to announce that a little bit more clearly on that side. We just want to make sure that we know where it's going we first before we make a major copy. And we're not here to review design, but, but you're right about that. It serves the public. Yeah. I was talking to uh, Ruth about that over the phone today. Yeah. That was it's going to be modified to say, to have that image and entrance yeah. at the rear of the building. I think, it, I think it makes it a little bit clearer. Thank you. Yeah. Carolyn, um, is there anything we should be aware of um, in terms of down the road? Should they be um, adding other signage? Will this, will we have wanted to consider this as the primary sign? And well, um, so um, in, for any property in the city, um, one ground sign is allowed unless you receive another special permit. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you need. Um, I don't think you need to worry or con I guess condition any permit now about some potential in the future. So the code allows front wall signs, blade signs as they have, but one basically per business. So if there were changes in vision down the road, they would have to come back before. But if they found um, 
creative opportunities to put other signs up, like if that hanging sign in front, or they found a place to put wall signs. As long as they're within code, they can yeah. still do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone? Any other comments or questions from the public or the board? Um, so I'm just reviewing the um, the ordinance. The only reason that a special permit is needed, the, um, there are three criteria for ground signs, two of which are already satisfied. And the third, and the reason we're here, is that um, it's not so clear that the structure or the orientation or location or setback restricts visibility of wall signs. And that's the reason that the special permit is required which we're allowed to grant so long as we determine that the architecture of the building, the location of the building or the land, the nature of the use made of the building is such that additional signs or, uh, would not detract from the character of the neighborhood and should be permitted in the public interest. And there are exceptional circumstances that warrant the approval and efforts are taken to keep the ground signs as low as possible. Um, I, I have no problems with this myself, but um, are, are we, if there are no other questions, we could entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Mm -hmm. it, that assumes we don't need any more input from, from anyone other than board discussion. So, I'm fine. So motion yeah. to, fine. so who, uh, we need. I'll make a motion. Okay. <laughs> close I'll the, second. second, all in favor, and that closes the public hearing. And then uh, uh, would, some, would, would you like to make a motion on the uh, on the application, sure. and, and of course we have the opportunity for discussion after you make the motion. I'll um, make a motion that we uh, vote to approve um, the special permit for Ruth Volkman for the ground sign as described and shown in the paperwork. Do you need okay. anything more in that? No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, second, there's a second, and then discussion. Any. Concerns? I mean, Do you have any concerns? I, I don't. I, I no. think it's. Uh, I wish it wasn't between the two trees. <laughs> but it's but it's seven feet tall and six. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, six yeah. feet tall. Six, yeah. which is better. We, because in my mind, as that tree in front grows, we've heard that the, the plan out. is to yeah, yeah remove yeah. some limbs, um, and in a way that yeah, I mean, on the one hand, that blocks the, the blocks view of the sign, but on the other hand, it nestles the sign aesthetically so that. Uh, not that it matters that much in that location. And I do think the placement back from the street is is right. That seems like a good yeah. placement. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm perfectly comfortable. Yeah. Um, so I think we're in agreement that uh, that it doesn't uh, that uh, we can determine that the nature of the use is such that uh, will not detract from the character of the neighborhood should be permitted in the public interest. And I think the exceptional circumstances, in my view, would include. The fact that you really can't, with all these shutters and windows, you really it's yeah. not a sign will get lost on the wall, and 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 I like the fact that it also will provide guidance for the handicapped accessibility, which I think should be a priority. Um, so with that, we there been, so it sounds like nobody's looking for any conditions to the motion. Just, no, okay. 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 So a, a vote on the motion as presented. Then all in favor? Yeah. That's unanimous. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, I was one reason I was two minutes late is I was finishing my afternoon meditation in my office. First, I got that was reinfused with stress by rushing. Always the trade-off. Always the that's life. In stroke, out stroke. Yes. Yeah. Well, I meditate too. And we don't have any young kids. Okay. I'm not sure we have. Well, yeah. thank you. The, um, the presentations were really helpful. Yeah. So I guess nicely done. Yeah. And then I had a question. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, maybe I'll ask the question before we adjourn. Thank you, everybody. Thank you You're all so set. Much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is there any? If you tell me if it should be instant. It probably should be within the fifth and maybe. Um, any update? Wayne had talked to me, and I don't know if I don't remember at all. This plan to basically eliminate our board. Is there any update on that? No, just because I mean, people might be curious. Right. I think, and I think, well, I don't know if we talked about it 
maybe it wasn't even the then oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. And it's it's really just sort of the first initiation is to try to get feedback from people. What do people think? So there's no plan to move it forward on any kind of timetable. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I, you know, it's one of those things where you start somewhere, and it's going to take a lot of conversation, and it's going to take a legislative process you know, through the state <laughs> legislature. So it's not something that, you know, anyone's necessarily pushing or in a hurry to do. So, okay. no, there's no update. <laughs> the community would be happier to uh, get rid of the planning board. <laughs> <laughs> well, I well it's not <laughs> getting rid of, a, of the jurisdiction. Right. It it's just merged. sort of merging. Right. So, yeah. But there, but there but might also be a perception people. that it's nice for people to have two different bodies, yeah. regulating bodies. And I'm sure that's going to be part of the discussion yeah. and the debate. But it's also true, as evidence, perhaps, this is another question, by how few meetings we have now, that our, I think our jurisdiction has been so whittled away over the years that other than hearing appeals of building of enforcement actions, which is, and those are extremely rare, Yeah. Is, is that why we have so few meetings? Because there's so little that we're, well, we get a sign now and then. Yeah. You know, the home occupation was expanded so that so that you, it's less likely that you have to come for a permit. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it was intentional not to not to eliminate your. You know, I'm, I'm not view, suggesting that really it was whittled it. away to with the intent of reducing our authority. There were other good reasons, but the Yeah, I think the effect, it, it, I think you're right, yeah. is that you know we've looked at what makes sense in terms of <clears throat> permitting. How can we make it easier for people who, maybe they don't, maybe those um, permit maybe the permitting objectives are no longer necessary in terms of trying to get people to go through a public hearing process just to get a minor project done. And so we've tried to remove some of the hurdles for people to do the things that they're interested in doing. Um, and that has affected your workload. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, oh, we nice just motion to adjourn. Yeah. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Unanimous. Thank you.